In this session, we're going to talk about the magnitude comparator, uh, where we uh, try to uh, compare two numbers here. Like, uh, okay, let me just write it first: magnitude comparator. Okay, suppose that we're trying to compare two numbers here, namely a number a and number b here of course they are binary numbers and they have let's say four digits okay four bit numbers they are four bit numbers and b3 b2 b1 and b0 so what we're trying to do here is trying to build a circuit that inputs those two numbers two four bit numbers and decides whether a is greater than b or a is equal to b or a is less than b like it can they happen at the same time no that's not possible but uh, this is what we're checking so at any given time only one of them will be valid or one of them will be one that's the idea what kind of circuitry can we provide here this is called a magnitude comparator circuit it can e easily be extended to uh, 16 bits or 32 bits just with uh, copy and paste in your computer aided design uh, programs so the first one is the, the idea is let's start with the equality condition first it means that we would be comparing all of these uh, corresponding digits with each other right in what cases they will be equal if we consider that your a0 b0 is the same or your a0 not b0 not is the same that would give you one right that's the idea I mean like uh, if you're mm, I'm sorry not one uh, 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 in what condition it would give you one either either of them are one or either of them are zero and that would be all right it means that they are equal right that's the idea in this sense if we generalize this for uh, all of the bits so your a i e i plus your a i not b i not is what we're looking for here and if we name this as x i this is what we check here value for well, i is from 0 1 2 3 that's it and it, it can go um, a bit more of course but that's it so your equality condition is all of them are so this one corresponds to what your x3 and x2 and x1 and x0 right all of them happening together means that all of them are happening together with respect to this expression equality expression that's it so we're done with this one the the, the equality part and uh, now what about a is greater than b condition how can this be possible so if your most significant digit this one is larger than the b it means that your a is larger than one no matter what your other remaining digits here on the right hand side right so that's the idea so if your a3 is one but your b3 is uh, zero it means that a is larger than one or there is another case if they are equal well, then we go ahead if these two digits are equal then we go ahead and check the next important or next significant digits here so it means that x3 a2 b2 not in this sense and your x mm, like 
if your x2 3 and x2 bits are the same you go ahead and check for a1 b1 not plus if all of them are on the left hand side are equal you go ahead and check a0 b0 not this is how you realize the uh, a greater than b condition how you check this condition and in a pretty similar fashion we do the same thing for a smaller than b check so what you have here will be like like this a and a3 not b3 or where if those digits are equal then and uh, then it would be a2 not b2 or if x3 and x2 there those digits are equal then we go ahead and check for this condition a1 not b1 uh, plus uh, not plus or and uh, then go ahead and this is the last condition here one zero zero uh, you should be careful that in the textbook this one and this one is given wrong they 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 have inverses here but they shouldn't be there this is the correct version i guess so this is your a smaller than b condition now here you have your three conditions here and the uh, circuit will look like this you have namely your number a and number b entering this uh, circuit for comparison and you will have three out signals and they will be uh, the a larger than b check and one of the circuitry for this one and a equal to b check and a is smaller than b check so what you have here as circuitry is write those expressions and when you take a look in the implemented form here in the uh, if you want to implement this in a computer aided design tool or something like this the resulting uh, structure will just look like this you know and that's all you have in your box okay this is your design right here okay this is all about the the ma magnitude comparator thank you for uh, listening